it's some while now since I uh, modified my uh, six inch rotary table um, in my previous videos I described how the uh, the worm wheel was modified because the original worm wheel was uh, it were cut uneven some of the teeth were shallow some were uh, um, deep and when you wound the table uh, it just wouldn't go around properly it bind it was a real poor deal. It was one of the worst, one of the worst things I've ever come across. I have a point of scrap in here, but anyway, it turned out okay. But the only thing I didn't like was the um, the method of fixing the uh, the table, the actual rotating part to the base. It was um, a poor do, a poor way of doing it, really. Um, using set screws and if. if it's just hopeless so what i did i got the idea from um a chap on uh, on youtube and I, I, they call him stefan um gots winter gots winter i think they call him yeah stefan gots winter he he has a brilliant uh series of videos of modifying one of these uh rotary tables and he makes a an absolute unbelievable job um, scrapes it in and everything it's, it's, it's well worth watching and uh, the idea is from his uh, his site and uh, thanks to him that I'm uh, I'm modifying the uh, the base adjustment screw the base adjustment plate rather by using a screw uh, which is um, bolted onto the uh, main boss so I'm going to have a go anyway and see how it turns out so let's see This is the um, rotary table taken apart. Um, this is the recess where the uh, the thrust plate uh, fits, and this is the part which uh, I intend to modify. What it needs really now is um, this boring out and then screw cutting and then an extended piece fitting on here which is screw cut to suit the uh, the thrust plate like Stefan uh, Gotswinter did on his uh, on his uh, rotary table here I've machined up the extension piece which will be threaded when attached to the uh, the boss of the rotary table just now facing off the front ready for marking out. I machined the register so that it lined up with the bore of the uh, the boss on the table. The, the thrust plate itself uh, will be bored out to suit and then threaded to match the, uh, the, the, the threaded extension piece. I shall now blow it up and uh, mark it out and then centre pop it for the uh, screw holes which will uh, then uh, be used to attach it to the boss. There's different ways which you can mark out using a dividing head or whatever method but I just do this. It's a simple and quick way. It doesn't have to be uh, precise. It's just a, a matter of locating uh, the holes so that they can be uh, drilled and then uh, counterboard. center pop them all now and then give them um, a heavy center pop with a heavier punch I've now deepened the center pops with a heavier punch so it has to give the uh, the drill a good start I'm using the thrust plate uh, as a guide so as to drill the, uh, the, the locating holes in the extension piece. The spigot which I left on the, um, on the extension piece it locates into the hole in the uh, thrust plate enabling accurate drilling of the screw holes so that the, the extension piece then will bolt, will bolt straight onto the, uh, to the boss of the um, rotary table what 
what I need to do now is find a counter bore suitable for the uh, the extension piece. I have a box full there which I've made over the years and I'm sure I uh, should be able to find one in this lot. This looks a likely candidate. Should do the job, I think. All uh, counterboard now, ready to uh, to bolt onto the uh, boss. See if it fits. Which it should do. What I need to do next, after um, after this trial, is to uh, is to screw cut the uh, the OD. Using the thrust plate as a, a jig for drilling the holes in this extension piece makes it makes it a doddle to um, to line it up. It just goes straight on, no messing. Everything's in line. Quick and easy way. Ready for turning now and then uh, screw cutting. I've just uh, gripped the uh, rotary table in the uh, in my uh, tailor uh, chuck. Uh, everything's true. Um, dial indicators barely moving. These chucks are, are very accurate. I've had this some years. It's been uh, been very reliable. Um, I've previously sent a drill the uh, boss, the extension piece, and. Um, I'm just now ready to uh, put the tail stock in, skim over the uh, the extension piece I've made, and then screw cut it. You may notice that the uh, turning tool I'm using is a, a brazed on tip onto a steel shank. I, I make my own uh, tools, I have done for years. Um, I rough grind them on green grit wheels and then uh, finish grind on diamond wheels. I don't use throwaway tips. The only throwaway tips I use are on my um, parting tools. I I've used this method for years and I always found uh, great satisfaction and I've never had any problems with them, they always leave a decent finish. I'm screw cutting the extension piece at 26 TPI. It's a fairly fine thread and will make the um, thrust plate um, easier to adjust. Just now drilling the clearance hole in the uh, boss of the uh, rotary table. It will then be uh, opened out to the full size to match the uh, bore which already exists. There is no taper in this um, this table. It's a parallel ream straight through. I'm just changing the uh, jaws from uh, from the um, from the outside jaws to these uh, s standard soft jaws. You can see how these tailor chucks um, work. Completely different from your conventional uh, three-jawed chucks. They're used uh, mostly in industry. You don't often see them in um, amateur workshops. They're very good at gripping, and and they can be very accurate. I 
and these are the uh, shape of the jaws quite different from your standard uh, three jaw chuck I'm just now boring out the uh, thrust plate uh, and then I shall uh, screw it 26 threads to match the uh, screwed extension on the uh, rotary table. Now board to size, uh, I can get on with the uh, screw cutting now. Just a little bit more to come off and then we should be okay. I've now finished modifying the uh, the thrust plate on this uh, rotary table. Um, the only problem is um, locking, locking the thing because you can't put a grub screw in the side because you can't get at it to lock it. Oh, so what I've done, I've done like um, Stefan Gotts Winter's done and uh, modified the uh, the thrust pad and what he's done, like I've done now, is to use a small a small copper slug which fits into the 4mm drilled hole and in goes a 4mm steel ball And then screw down on the top is a small tapered grub screw. And as that's screwed in and tightened down, the angle of the oops the angle of the grub screw pushes the ball forward and then pushes out the copper slug there it nicely tightens up the ring as it's screwed on all you do then is just tighten down and it locks it it's a clever clever little idea is that that my grub screw is just slightly protruding but it won't matter because there'll still be a little bit of clearance uh, it'll sit just below the surface so that should do it really clever idea that in place on the uh, rotary now. table it's a lot better easier to adjust than the silly four grub screws and four cap heads that were previously used it was it worked to an extent but it was very very fiddly and took ages this is much better. It's really, uh, really a lot better. I'd recommend anybody to uh, to convert. Uh, I didn't make um, a spanner. Uh, all I've done is drilled um, two um, five millimeter holes and used two pegs. Uh, that's all it needs really. Put two pegs in, and then you can adjust either way till you get the. Um, Get the correct uh, thrust and then just tighten up with the uh, grub screw and it locks it in place and that's it it's really good 
a lot better, 100%. Job done.